In this video, I'm going to show you the very, very basics of how to import, dither and export a video in Ditherboy. If you are new around here, Ditherboy is a standalone software that we put out in February and it was primarily at the time for dithering images. The feedback we received immediately from people was that they wanted this for video. So we're working on adding video features over time but this is the version that exists right now and I'm just going to show you how to use it. More specifically, I'm going to show this clip here just because this was requested by someone in the Ditherboy Discord. So before I get into it, if you would like to request a tutorial and you have this software, then in Ditherboy, I'll show you on screen now. If you just click on extras and click on Discord, then you can join here and as you can see, I share the tutorials before they go up publicly as well. So if you want to watch tutorials early or request a tutorial, then yeah, you can do all that in here. Anyway, to get into the actual video, to get one of the example clips that I showed on screen at the beginning, I used this site called Pexels and I just searched face in the wind. And if you scroll down, it'll be here somewhere. This video is the one I used from Yaroslav Shireyev, if I've pronounced that right. But you can use any video. It doesn't have to be one of these. I'll leave a link to this in the description. And I'm just going to wait for this clip to re-download. Okay, so next, if you go to file, video and import video, in fact, while I do this, let me just expand my Ditherboy window a little bit. So file, video, import video. And here I've got my clips. I've selected that. I'm just going to click open. It'll take a minute to extract the frames. Ditherboy is just taking apart your video frame by frame. And when it loads in, it will give you one of the first frames like this one. And we're going to dither this. And then in a minute, Ditherboy will put together the video again using all the frames it just decompiled and you get the same clip again basically so the clip i showed earlier i used the style called smooth diffuse which is this one and basically to get that result that i showed at the beginning all i did was turn down the smoothness to something like three i can't remember what scale i actually went for and then i would have just tweaked things like luminance threshold contrast and midtones and highlights until I sort of isolated the subject here, which is obviously the face with like the negative space hair. You can get some better transitions in your lines if you turn up the blur as well. But the video functionality is really the same no matter what dithering style you go for. It's just these controls and how responsive they are and what they all do that will, you know, change when you move between the different styles. So pick one that you want to pick. I'm just going to go with this one. Once you are done applying your dither effect, just go back to file, video and export video. If you did just want to export the frame, you can just use the regular export, but I'm going to export the video. And once you pick a location and a name, you'll get this pop up that just says processing frames. So mine's slowly processing and I'm just going to cut back to when it's actually done. Okay, so mine's just about finishing now. So as I said, it then reassembles the video using the frames that it got at the start. And once your export is complete, you can then go and add another dither if you like. But one thing I would recommend doing before you start messing around like this is just go to help and click purge temp folders. And what that'll do is it'll just go and delete any files that are no longer needed to create the dither because you've already exported it kind of thing. If you are familiar with animation and After Effects and video editing or video processing, then you'll be familiar with like clearing your, your temp folders and stuff already. The only other thing to mention here, and not many people need this, but just because you can very easily crash things, even, even software made by multi-million dollar companies like Adobe, or Maxon or whatever, uh, you can very easily crash video software if you import weird footage, weird encoded footage, stuff that's just very, very high frames per second and low duration. Or There's all sorts of weird different combinations you can do with video that I'll not go on a rant on in this video. But if you want to bypass any limits that we've got set up here to prevent you from crashing your computer or the software, then just go to help and enable expert mode. It removes a few limits and I think a few others that aren't listed here. And when you enable expert mode, there's no other features, but if you were just wanting to import something weird and you know what you're doing, 
then you can you can turn expert mode on and you won't be limited but yeah from here you can then just go and apply i don't know whatever the next thing you want to make with your video is using whichever dithering algorithm you want and yeah it is just the exact same process so to keep this nice and simple i'm not going to show any other effects to add to the video afterwards in this video but if you want to learn more about doing things like creating a video out of just an image with dithering and like some other animation stuff that i've done then i've made other videos showing the video i've made other videos showing the video features in dither boy so you can make videos i'm losing my train of thought but yeah i've covered this in other videos i've just never done like here are the basics so that's all this video was thank you very much for watching thank you for getting dither boy if you have already got it if you've not already got dither boy and this is maybe not the most interesting video for you i would recommend checking out the other ones if you are still making your mind up or you can always get in touch and then because i know someone will ask we are looking at adding in i won't say which specific features but we are looking at adding in more advanced video support to Dither Boy. That's all I'll say for now because I still don't know what we'll be able to get done. And if you do have Dither Boy, then the good news is whatever we do add will be yours at no extra cost anyway. So any future developments on video will come to you in a later version and you will have to pay for them. So yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.